Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. Today, I've got another episode of What's New? What's New? Is down at Wiener Sissel. They've brought their mac and cheese back, and they've put it on a few new items. Uh, before, it was just the mac and cheese. They've got now mac and cheese with toppings. They've got it on hot dogs. They've got it on hamburgers, and that's what I'm going to be trying today. It is called the Mac Burger. It was... Five seventy nine dollars for the mac and cheese hamburger, I guess is what you want to call it. And comes in, comes in a box, and this is what you get. Pretty decent size. You've got the uh, hamburger, pickles, mac and cheese under the bun. <laughs> and I believe nothing on there. I don't know. Uh, they've got, uh, I think they've got a little bit of ketchup on there, but basically, instead of cheese, they've put mac and cheese. So uh, definitely, everything you'd have with the hamburger, but mac and cheese for the cheese. So here we go, guys. The mac burger. <laughs> Guess you would call this one a Big Mac. I don't know. Uh, the mac and cheese burger. From Wiener Schnitzel. Here we go. Mm, okay. Pickle. Pickle, ketchup, mustard. Mmm. I mean, that's pretty tender. And looks like they have a little bit of grilled onion on there, too. Yeah, it kind of goes well. The mac and cheese is pretty good. Nice and tender, creamy. A little good a good addition to it. Breaks it up a little bit of difference. Now, I don't know if you only wanted to put chili on it. I guess you could. Um, but this one's not too bad on its own. So, all right, go one more time. Mm, okay. <laughs> mac and cheese burger. The ketchup, all that kind of ties in well. Uh, I don't know if you've ever made like a mac and cheese casserole. Where you put hamburger in there and you put a little ketchup and you put a little topping on it. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's not too bad. Burger's nice and tender. Fairly juicy. The mac and cheese does help it. Um, it doesn't add a whole lot, but... I do like it. Now, I don't think I would have wanted it with um, lettuce and tomato and all that other stuff, but just as it is, the plain mac and cheese burger is actually pretty good. Uh, $5.79, eh, a little bit pricey, but I think that's what uh, you'd get for a Big Mac and all those other ones as well. Um, if you want something a little different, go with the mac and cheese burger down at uh, Wiener Schnitzel or try one of the other creations with the mac and cheese. So for this one, not too bad. Uh, wouldn't be my go-to burger, but um, for something a little different, I think I would give it a try. So for that one, the mac and cheese burger from Wiener Schnitzel, I give it a seven, seven out of 11. Nothing spectacular. The mac and cheese is a nice addition. Um, it all ties together well. Uh, a little pricey for what you do get, but got to try stuff while it's out try out the new items that they have so there you go guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over there that way you won't miss any future content or if i go live you won't miss the fun so until next time on drew's food reviews when i'll be trying something new and cheesy for you i will finish this off and look for a new item so until next time guys i'll talk to you later